our panel sought to make recommendations to the government about making human subjects research more protected, but also make the research uh, more efficient and streamlined. The background to this is that human subjects protections have been in place for decades, and uh, that includes the social and behavioral sciences, which was our primary focus in this report. But over time, uh, the protections for human subjects have become uh, inefficient and overburdened. Social and behavioral science research is extremely important to our country. It saves lives, it improves the quality of people's lives, it, it increases our economic efficiency, and it helps uh, save the environment and a whole range of other benefits to society at large. So this research is very, very important. At the same time, it's very important to protect the people who volunteer their time to participate in this research. And our report was aimed at improving both processes, that is improving the efficiency and the streamlining of the research, which is so valuable for everybody, and at the same time uh, improving uh, and adding on to uh, human subjects protection. I think there are three really important takeaway messages. Uh, one is that we very much support uh, the ANPRM's recommendation to have a category of new category of excused research. This is really revolutionary and a brilliant addition that they suggested. We have some examples of social and behavioral science that might reasonably fit under excused research. So that's the first one. Uh, the second one is to make sure that the definition of what is human subjects research and not human subjects research is very clear. Uh, public information, for example, that people don't have any reasonable expectation of privacy about um, is not really human subjects research. And so some of those kinds of stipulations that we make on suggestions for definitions would uh, both increase human subjects protection for what really matters and also facilitate research. And the third thing that I would mention is, and this is one place where we do disagree with the letter but not the spirit of the ANPRM, uh, and that is that we don't agree that HIPAA would be a good standard for data protection. HIPAA both underreaches and overreaches. That is, even if you remove all the items that HIPAA says you have to remove to protect data, there are still data sets where you could re-identify people. And on the other hand, it overreaches because it removes items that might be useful for research purposes. So we would respectfully submit that the um, NPRM, when it comes out, not use HIPAA as a data privacy uh, and confidentiality standard, but use a variety of um, not one size fits all, but made to fit standards which investigators would be responsible for and uh, national uh, center and other resources would help to vet. <laughs>